Hello everybody, here we are again with another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to be taking LR AGL Ultra Instinct Goku into the Realm of God Super Battle Road stage, not just Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road. So I just want to go ahead and show off, he does not have any equipments, these are his link levels, basically the same as I did um, in the actual God of Destruction versus Iwan events. So if you haven't seen that video, go feel, feel free to go ahead and check it out. He destroys that event. He's so good. So we're going to see how he does in the actual Extreme Super Battle Road stage, which I feel like a lot of people really do think that Extreme Super Battle Road is easier than the God of Destruction event specifically, especially since that event only allows you to use one item. But in terms of no item runs, this one might be harder. I don't know. Um, they're pretty neck and neck. But this is still a very difficult event. And it will be a test to his true power. We're going to go ahead. Of course, use a double Beerus lead for the 170% attack and defense. And see how this guy does. So he's starting off with Topo supports. And he's going to be with Beerus. So a really good thing about this Ultra Instinct Goku compared to the STR one, in my personal opinion, is that this guy does have the shocking speed link. Which is super helpful, for example, units like Beerus or God of Destruction Topo, I believe, also has shocking speed. It helps for these kind of, I wouldn't say extreme class, but these non sane and Roma Gods units. Um, I believe. Does the Masu have shocking speed? The Masu might have shocking speed as well. There's so many units, you know, West Kai, Whis, a lot of, especially like these God DDs units. Um, Roma Gods, obviously, which is what the category is. Anyone non sane, a lot of them do have the actual um shocking speed leak so we're gonna go ahead and I'm probably gonna do this actually so ultra instant goku does build up key every time he dodges we're gonna actually try and take out well no we're gonna try to take out him like this just to be safe we're gonna have we're going to keep God Topo on rotation and the other bears is going to float on here. We're going to attack you. So again, Ultra Instant Goku does have the 50% chance to... Uh, I forgot to check his defense. So he is dodging. He does have a 50%, 70% uh, chance to evade enemies attacks and basically just nullify any damage taken, which right there is getting pretty good. 3.6 million attacks. That is very nice because I believe all he should have active is Godly Power and fierce battle along with shocking speed of course but he does have the uh god of destruction topo actual support and right there he's taking nothing obviously because he does have that 70 percent chance to dodge very very powerful another powerful tool that he does have obviously would be his super attack effect which is super attack effect gives him a 50 percent chance to perform a critical hit and again built into his passive he does have a chance to perform an additional attack uh, which obviously is more so additional super attack rather than additional attack, which is also very powerful um, Because once he gets two super attacks the second super attack is Guaranteed to be a critical hit because he gives himself a 50% chance to crit on super attack So yeah, it's pretty good right there with both God of Destruction and Topo passives He was able to get up to around a 4 million attack stat we should be fine in this rotation as well, as long as we are able to play our cards right. We're going to go ahead and seal Mr. Satan right here. Uh, unfortunately, this guy, well, actually, he will be able to get a super attack, so we're going to have him attack him. And we're going to have this Ultra Instinct Goku attack this guy. And we're going to try and get my Ultra Instinct Go Sign Goku off onto with my normal Ultra Instinct Goku. And this right here is also a very powerful unit. Overall, this Realm of Gods team got a huge buff with this update, obviously, with the two new LRs, Super Saiyan. Oh, we actually took a hit there. Uh, with the actual Super Saiyan um, Blue Evolution Vegeta and the Ultra Instant Goku. Along with that, even before then, you know, we got this Blue Goku on this team. We got this Ultra Instant Goku this year. Uh, just so much buffs to the Realm of Gods team. It's continuing to be good. I personally feel like this team is the best one in the game. Um, I feel like it's not really hard to think about that. But then when that happens, <laughs> when stuff like that happens, oh my god. Uh, okay, so this technically would be a time where we would be able to use... Oh, okay, no, it's fine. So we do have the Icarus item up, so it does it is a little screwed. But look at him, 178k defense at 55%, and this is before he actually dodges. So when he evades, his defense goes up by 30%. So now his defense when he evades is going to be around, what, like 200 something K? It's super good. God of Destruction Topo does have his actual passive. And that's why I brought something like this uh, Sensor Beam. 
so that we actually don't have to worry about having items up because I kind of want to see what he does without items on this stage obviously. We're gonna actually go ahead and take out Videl here with the Spears uh, and let's uh let's see what kind of attacks that he's gonna be hitting as well. He should be hitting the same attacks as last time from what I recall and he's this is uh what four million yeah, 4.27 million attack stat super strong at 55 percent considering it's a 50 percent chance to be critical hit unfortunately we did not get that there but tech if he was able to get that crit hit well look at that look at that an extreme super battle road after he dodged he took double digits damage which is not hard to get at least that first dodge off being able to get that double digit damage is super important because that means that even if a 70% chance to evade does not go off, he'll still have you covered even at 55% in the dupe system. I mean, of course, we do have God of Destruction Topo on the team. But why wouldn't you run God of Destruction Topo? It's it's pretty clear you would run a unit like him a lot of the time. So we're going to go ahead and actually... Uh, actually, if it was Mr. Sane who attacked him, his attack was technically lowered. But I don't think it was because I don't remember seeing the arrow go up. We're gonna give Beerus this stuff, and we're gonna we actually want to give you a super attack so you can raise your defense for one turn. Uh, that'll be very helpful. We actually might finish him off this turn, um, because that blue Goku is gonna do a lot of damage, and so is the Beerus right here in this specific instance. Because Beerus is getting two support units, yeah, three points are a mil. They didn't even get his attack off. Imagine if you got the attack, if you did get attacked first, that man would be doing insane amounts of damage, like. I don't know, just looking at all these Rumble Gods units, it's so powerful. <laughs> this blue Goku is no slouch either. So let's go ahead and watch again more of Ultra Instinct Goku. So this is another thing. On turn 4, of course, he does have the active skill. Uh, unfortunately, the active skill cannot be a crit at 55% of the dupe system. So we're actually going to target this guy right here, Devil Man. And uh, this is like one of my favorite scenes from the show for sure. Look at him go. He just angry boy <laughs> he's just about to clench his fist and he's like you just and then he just <laughs> he just goes on and punches the hell out of this guy yeah this is where goku's good <laughs> for sure like look at the damage he did we do have god topo on the team so now we have all seven links active his defense is 151k oh okay i forgot that that turn he did have the icarus up which the icarus is actually multiplicative um, something you do have to keep in mind. It's like how normal items work where the defense is multiplicative For example, if you use an Android 8, it's like a separate phase kind of like but how attack how like calculations work and stuff like that Um, it's a lot to explain but Still so his defense is gonna be around what? Uh, if I think like 180k or so after he's super like 190k. It's pretty strong. We're gonna We're gonna put you first And then we're gonna have just UI Goku uh, finish up this is this is this is over for sure this turns already over so luckily the next time we're gonna he's gonna come around we're gonna be able to see him without any support which is another thing that's very important because sometimes in the super battle stages you don't get lucky and get, get like god of destruction topo on the first rotation oh no why are you doing this calm down chill chill because he's type neutral <laughs> that's that's why that guy is good because he also makes the enemy type neutral instead of being uh type disadvantage which is a little better than people give credit for in my opinion because not the ability to not be type like to not have type disadvantage is huge we're actually going to not use a waste we're gonna we're gonna use an usher so we have all those attacks in the first slot yeah that's pretty good um let's attack this tech guy and Whis, we're gonna miss a super attack with him. Yeah, we're gonna miss a super attack with Whis. Now let's attack him because obviously UI Goku is AGL and we wanna make sure that we at least do a bit of damage to that guy because it's good to see type disadvantage, but you know, in terms of Goku actually taking hits, that's not gonna happen most of the time. So I really I really wanna see basically Well there's like a tech opponent's kinda useless, honestly. Um yeah, I mean, I guess he could do damage too, so it'll be good to see how much he takes with type disadvantage. But like everyone takes a lot of damage from type disadvantage. It's more so, I feel like the best thing to see is type neutral. Um, because it's kind of like the middle gray area. Type advantage, obviously, you take less damage. Type disadvantage, you obviously take more. So we actually do have support on this rotation. Um, we do have 20% uh, attack, but no defense. So 
This is no extra links active. Let's keep them right here. So his defense is still 130k. Get no equipment, no support from his defense or anything. Very high and very solid. That's definitely a very good number to have. We're gonna give you this. Um, I should have targeted. Oh well, I should have retargeted, but it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. And we're gonna give you this. So let's see what kind of attacks they're gonna put up. You're not gonna be able to get an 18 key super. So again, first dodge, bam, now his defense skill is over like 150k or something. 2.63 million attacks. That right here on a 17 key super attack is super strong. Um, again, he does have a chance to crit, but he did not get it off. But we are actually getting the additional super attack. So it's a 2.3 million attack stat with a 50% with a 100% chance to crit actually right here because he got the double super as you see right there. So at 55%, this Ultra Instant Goku can get a 100% chance to crit. Look at that, he dodged a type of disadvantage super attacks. Look at him go. He just doesn't care. So he does take about 18k type neutral on a normal attack, but that's very good to see. So him being able to take only 18k with no defensive support, of course he does have to get that first dodge off, which is a 70% chance. That's super good. That's really good. Look 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 at this STR UI Goku took 80k type type neutral. <laughs> look at him. And you know, he's like he does have to build up his passive that that specific UI Goku, but still it's like it, what what more could you ask for from a unit, you know? Really, what more could you really ask for from a unit like this? So this turn is gonna be fine. Uh, actually, we don't need. Topo doesn't need a super attack. We should be able to go ahead and seal up this AJ opponent. Roshi right here. Uh, yeah, because again, Roshi wasn't. You know, no one, none of their attack was lowered or anything like that. Those ultra interesting Goku is a very powerful option in any team. Probably gonna show one more rotation with him where he doesn't actually have support technically. And then we're probably going to call it a video. Like, look at Beerus right there. Look at Beerus right here. Beerus is taking, like, a bajillion damage. Actually, Topo might be dead here. Oh, never mind. Topo's... A... What? What is going on? Topo has... I think Topo might have 15 dodge. <laughs> um, Let me see. Topo, does he have 15 dodge? He does. Okay. Yeah, I gave him 15 dodge a while ago. Oh, another thing to know. So, you know, you see how his active skill is not active here. But if you heal above the 50% HP, you are able to get his active skill. And technically, if you did take the three hits needed for his revival mechanic, then uh, since he still started the turn off under 50% HP, he should still be able to get the revival mechanic. Uh, I think. Actually, I haven't tried that yet, so don't quote me on that. But from what I believe how it's rooted, because it's 50% when he starts off. Let's see if we can one-shot this guy. Because he does have all seven links active right here. No support. Let's see how strong this actual active skill could be. If it could one shot this STR. Uh, with the rest of this STR, you know, of course he did already have some damage taken. But if it, it should do enough damage to basically get him at least close, like a sliver away from death, right? Poor Grandpa go on. <laughs> yeah, look, a sliver away from health. Poor Grandpa go on. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna do this and that should really be the video. Again, his defense is 157k. The Icarus, right, the Icarus item. So the Icarus item is up there, which the Icarus item is pretty good, honestly. I feel like I, as I'm using more and more, it's probably the best of the few items that we have. Um, being able to get that 10% attack and defense is super good because again, of that, how it affects. Um, we'll have to see how that Xeno act, uh, item actually looks like though. Before we can judge it, like look at that guy. You know he did take get a little bit of dodges, and he took like 50k. Ultra Instinct Goku, I hear this guy. See the difference is that with STR UI Goku is that if he doesn't dodge, he's gonna take like a billion damage even when he's fully built up. While this guy right here, he just needs to get one dodge, and even if he doesn't dodge any other attack like that, he's still gonna have so much more defense look at that guarantee crits galore he did take 50k right there however but again that's worst case scenario when he's not able to get one dodge off before then if we were able to get one dodge off before then he would have taken 
around like only 20 cars so overall i'm very impressed this guy fat passed with like flying colors to me i'm excited to go ahead and use them up more and more um i may take them into an infinite dragon ball history stage i'm not too sure yet uh so we can get his passive fully built up you know sparkle sprinkle some little more support in there maybe um maybe like bring some b pan action you know goku family team We'll go ahead and see, um, and obviously after that, I'm probably going to get him to full level 10 links at 55%, and we'll see what he could really do maxed out in this state, uh, the states of the gods. We got the no Goku. Anyways, uh, apart from that cringe, thank you guys for watching till the end. Feel free to like, share, subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you all in the next one.